so we going again. We back on the air. So look. So this is what I'm showing y'all now. Him right here. Let's go back. So now that we back on on on, on course, family. Let's hear him again. So we can end what so we can end what we was at. Let's hear him again. Olympic level meditators. When we ask them for so he just said when they ask the Olympic level meditators. Let's keep going. To do a meditation of compassion, their level of gamma jumps Whoop. seven to eight hundred percent. Up. What he say? Their level of gamma jumped seven hundred to eight hundred percent. All right. Let's play it back. That's what brought us to gamma radiation. Let's hear him again. And remember, family, I taught y'all that gamma radiation was real. They tell you, even on Google, they will, they will tell you on Google that gamma radiation is not real. So if gamma radiation is not inside of you, well, they tell you that it's real, but it's not, that it's harmful to us. All right? Gamma radiation, they tell you gamma radiation is harmful to humans, but we are not human. We are gods, okay? Remember that. You got to remember that, first off. Second off, gamma radiation, they tell you, is not inside of us at all. But if gamma radiation is not inside of us because it's harmful to us, then how the fuck do we have what are called gamma waves? See them? Which are in your brain. And this is what he's talking about. He's talking about, and it's called super humans. All right? It's called, he's talking about superhumans. He's talking about, he's talking about this DNA and the increased gamma. All right? If you didn't have gamma radiation in your family, you would not have gamma waves. What are gamma waves? Gamma waves. A gamma wave is a pattern of neural, that's the brain, neuro, brain, neural oscillation in humans with a frequency, there go that word again, frequency between 25 and 140 hertz. The 40 hertz point being of particular interest. All right? All right? So... Now, let's go right here if you don't know what that meant. What do gamma, what do, what do gamma wave, what do gamma brain waves do? All right. Let's read. It says right here. A gamma wave is considered to be the fastest brain activity. Pay attention, class. This is why they don't want you to know that you have gamma radiation inside of you. All right. A gamma wave is considered to be the fastest brain activity. It is responsible for cognitive functioning, your learning, your memory, and information processing. I repeat, a gamma wave is considered to be the fastest brain activity. It is responsible for cognitive functioning, learning, memory, and information processing. In optimal conditions, gamma waves help with attention, focus, and the entire binding of all of your motherfucking senses. And your senses is what connects you to your reality. And they tell you, gamma waves are responsible for your smell, your sight, and hearing. Even your complete consciousness. Whoa, that's everything. Even your mental processing, as well as your perception. So your perception is how you even see shit. You wouldn't even see this kitchen right now. That's your perception making you think you see that shit. And that's based on the gamma waves in your brain, which you control with your thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Them superheroes ain't looking. They not looking at superheroes as they used to, are they? Are they? If you really grasp it, the science behind what I'm explaining to you right now. Right? This is what they understood in ancient Kemet. This is how they were able to activate the Kundalini energy. Right? They knew all of these esoterical facts. These are genetic facts. Right? A superhero ain't got shit on you, family. All right? All right? So, and, 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 and the gamma radiation is what hit the Hulk. The Hulk, okay, if you don't know, let's look it up. Let's, 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 let's type it in real quick. Let's type it in real quick. How did the Hulk get his powers? How did the Hulk get his powers? Answer. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go. Now the Hulk is invisible, right? So we looked up, how did the Hulk get his powers? Let's see what they got to say. Near infinite strength, this of course is what, this of course is what he is most famous for, is what he is most famous for. But although most people know that gamma radiation is the source of his powers, most people probably aren't aware that his body is channeling it from every universe and dimension in reality. Okay, so you didn't know that the gamma radiation inside of your veins, which is why they are green, allows you to tap into other universes and dimensions and other realities. All right, giving him potentially limitless power. This is what gamma radiation do. This is one of the many radiations in you. This is not including plasma energy, organ energy. We just talk about gamma radiation right now, family. Okay, this power is tied to the Hulk's emotions, particularly strength. Meaning that the matter he, this power, that's Facebook again, y'all. This power is tied to the Hawks. Pay attention to this in gamma radiation. This power is tied to the Hawks emotions. All right. Gamma radiation is tied to your emotions. Remember I told y'all that we are beings of pure chaos. Remember I told you that we had 72 demonic forces within us, which are the 72 feminine energies, which help to protect you. All right. That's in your gamma radiation. If you were to get mad enough, you would activate the gamma radiation within you. Hold on. Let me, let me break that down. You don't understand what they're telling you. Listen, if you were to get upset enough, family, about the right thing, like say you watched a lot of slavery movies, that would impact you on a soulful level because your ancestors actually died. If you was to get upset enough we wouldn't even call it anger because anger is an emotion right but if you was to channel that energy of anger and you let it tap into your history deeply enough you would link it to the chaos within your gamma radiation and you would immediately shift and you like how you see on the cartoon him breaking out his clothes and his whole body changing that's what gamma radiation do to you and like they, the matter he get, the stronger he get. That's what your gamma radiation does. Why you think they don't let no no black messiah speak out? Why you think when one person starts speaking out in the community, they, they try to kill him off? Because that one voice can activate the gamma radiation in everybody. Now you got a planet full of incredible motherfucking hawks, nigga, and they can't do shit with us, which is how it was when they came. But they will lie to you and tell you that gamma radiation is not real. It's just a Marvel Universe shit. This is what they tell you, right? This is what they tell you, right? But if gamma radiation not real, because y'all showing us, you know, this is Marvel, right? This ain't real, right? Okay, then why the fuck is he talking about superhumans and meditation and brainwaves and high levels of gamma? Let's hear him again. We actually have no idea what that means experientially. Oh. Science, they do we act the state effect is not during their meditation uh, alone, but it's just their everyday state of mind. We actually have no idea what that means experientially. B, what was stunning was that the Olympic level meditators, these are people who've done up to 62,000 lifetime hours of meditation. You hear? Now listen, remember I told you. These human beings are not from our planet, so they always studying us. So that's why he don't know shit. Keep that in mind. But listen to him. Their brainwave shows gamma very strong all the time as a last... You hear him? You hear him? He's talking about this gamma. These gamma waves. Gamma waves come from the gamma radiation in you. Just no matter what they're doing. It's not a state effect. It's not during their meditation. Uh, but it's just their everyday state of mind. Yeah. We actually have no idea what that means. Pause. Oh, so you heard what he said. If y'all can't hear it, y'all gonna have to go on YouTube. I, I mean, my, my laptop is loud. That's what as loud as my laptop will go. But uh, I think it's all the way up. Let me see. Is it all the way up? It's all the way up. It's all the way up, God. It's all the way up. But he's talking about this gamma. He's talking about this gamma, family. He's talking about the same gamma that I'm telling that that they're telling you on Wikipedia. All right. 
He's talking about the same gamma that they're telling you right here about on Wikipedia, gamma waves. A gamma wave is a pattern of neural oscillation in humans with a frequency, that go frequency between 25 and 140 hertz. All right? So, then they're telling you right here all about it. What do gamma brain waves do? A gamma wave is considered to be the fastest brain activity. It is responsible for cognitive functioning, learning, memory, and information processing in optimal conditions. Gamma waves help with attention, focus, binding of senses. Don't let that go. Listen to these words. Smell, sight, and hearing. Consciousness, nigga. Mental processing and perception. Gamma waves touch a lot, don't they? Yeah, they touch a lot, and they're the most powerful. And they are the shortest, you know, the shortest wavelength. And the most powerful. And this is why they keep it hidden from you. You know what I'm saying? Look, now check this out. When you scroll down, you know they got to make some lies in. When you click on this, check this out. Are gamma waves harmful? Check this out. Gamma rays are ionizing radiation and, the, and are thus biologically hazardous. Due to their high penetration power, they can damage bone marrow and internal organs. All right? So they let you know about how powerful you is if you read it the right way. All right? What would gamma rays do to a human? Check this out. Gamma rays have so much penetrating power that several inches of a dense material, like lead or even a few feet of concrete, may be required to stop them. All right? Gamma rays can pass completely through the human body. As they pass through, they can cause ionizations that damage tissues and DNA. All right? So they let you know how powerful gamma rays is, and they even let you know that gamma rays can pass through the human body. And this is what a lot of those ancient masters was using. You ever seen them old fighting movies, and they go through it right through somebody's body and snatch their heart out their body, nigga? Y'all ain't ever seen that in them animations of enemies where they fighting, and the fighter phases through his body and snatches his whole heart out? Like, y'all ain't never seen no shit like that? They show it to you in animations, but this is because you you are able to do like, all the anime cartoons they ever showed us is about what your DNA could do. All of the superhero movies they ever showed you is about what your DNA does. Every fucking superhero that they're telling you about was an actual one of your ancestors that was doing that shit to them. You feel what I'm saying, fam? Let's let them finish, though. Every single one of the superheroes they talk about was one of your ancestors doing that to their ass. Facts. That's how they know about it. And that's why he told you they still can't figure shit out because they are not from here. So they still be studying us. They don't know this. All right. It's very interesting. Science has never seen it before. We also find that in these Olympic level meditators, when we ask them, for example, to do a meditation on compassion, their level of gamma jumps seven to eight hundred percent. Seven to eight hundred percent. This has also never been seen by science. Never been seen by science. We have to assume that the special state of consciousness that you see in the highest level meditators is uh, a lot like something described in the classical meditation literature. And you're right. Uh, Shaq just said, let me see if I can pull it up. They do show that in Hunter x Hunter. All right, let me show you how this before we keep going. Show y'all this real quick. All these enemies and cartoons and all this. Oh, that's his name, Chill. Okay, his name was Chill. And he snatched his opponent's heart out. Let me show y'all something. How they be showing you this in cartoons, right? Let me see. Let me see. They show you this in all their enemies, family. Show it to you in all their cartoons about what your DNA can do. And hide that shit right from you. Let me see. Is this the one? Having some hours? No. Hell no. We all gonna live with this. Nuh uh. <laughs> Let me see something, family. Let me pull it up. That ain't it, y'all. I'm trying to pull it up. Hold on. I'm trying to see if they're gonna show it to you. If not, y'all might have to just go to the uh. Now, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody screenshotted it yet. But yeah. 
So I don't know. He got the screenshot right here, but I don't know if he gonna show it to y'all. Let me see. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Prisoners as accepted. Prisoners as accepted. I'm big tripping. Let me see. It was a fight to the death. Lost him. Did we lose him? Why? Okay, there it go right there. It's coming up right here. But I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it though. Nah. I see all of the inspiration. They fighting right here. You're gonna see randomly. It's killer versus prisoner. That's what it's called. Let me see. Somebody said killer versus prisoner. I thought they was going to have something physical in coming. Oh, okay. It did pop up right there. Let me see. See, it's some of the guys and goddesses. They watch a lot of anime. Oh, here it goes. So they know. Now, look, right? Now, look. Check this out, family. Appreciate y'all, too, who, who told me exactly what to go to to pull this video up. I love y'all, man. Y'all need to see this real quick. Now, they show you all this shit in their animations and their animes, and you be thinking, like, oh, this shit ain't real. But you just seen about gamma rays and how they showed you how gamma rays can pass through the human body. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's go to it. I don't want nobody thinking I made this shit up. It says right here. Hold on. Gamma, we talk about gamma radiation. And this gamma radiation is what you're tapping into when we mass meditate tonight. So this is why you need to know about all these energies. I seen somebody comment. They was like, man, let me know when you meditate. What you mean? All this shit is part of mass meditation. And that's why when you come back to meditate, you ain't going to know what to do. Because you think everything that's said right now is just talking. No, you got to know about all these energies and what this shit mean. You know what I'm saying? How you going to mass meditate and you don't even know what you tapping into? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know what you tapping into. Let me, I'll be back. Let me know when y'all mass meditate. I'm not wasting my breath like I'm just saying this shit and showing y'all this shit like I'm off topic. No, all of this, if you're listening and if you're paying attention, all of this shit is about part of mass meditation and what, and what it does. This is the science behind it. Shit crazy, man. But anyway... So, right here it shows you, family, for those who paying attention, all right? It shows you, guys and goddesses. It says, gamma rays have so much penetrating power that several inches of this material, like lead, or even a few feet of concrete may be required to stop them. Gamma rays can pass completely through the human body. All right, so let's go to this. Now, you can, you can control your gamma radiation. You can, you can turn it up, you can turn it down, especially when you link it to med meditation. Even on here, they call this shit Nin. Nin is, is actually an art when you can learn how to control your, your aura notes. But look, this is Chill right here. He has basically mastered the art of his gamma radiation, so he's going to turn the frequencies of his gamma radiation that's running through him up. Once he turns his frequency up, it's going to allow him to phase through his competitor. Watch this shit. And of course, they painted their ass white because they don't want y'all to know that we are the ones able to do this shit. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you a demigod, then yeah. But if you 100% Caucasian, then, then you can't do it because you don't have the metaphysics. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just a, a fact. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, though. How do you want to do this? Do this. You have the wrong idea. Y'all hear him? Fine. We'll just keep fighting until one of us dies. Hmm. Pay attention. That's right. A battle to the death. Soon, I'll tear your body apart. With just my bare hands, you got it. Look at him. Phase two. Him. <sighs> you see him glowing, right? Blue. Kundalini energy activation. Phase through the man. Look at him. Took his whole heart out of his body. You see this shit? Y'all see this shit? Took his whole heart out of his body. Showed it to you in a cartoon, though. And check out before he took his shit, because he was a hold on. Y'all ain't peep them, though. Now, without knowing, see, if you don't know the real science of you, you like, oh, that's a cartoon. But see, I'm showing y'all about gamma radiation and how it runs through you and what gamma waves really come from. They don't deny gamma waves. So you got to know, how can they tell you you, got, you you don't have gamma radiation in you, but, you got, but your brain produces gamma waves? All right? So this is why, though. 
If you turn your gamma radiation up within your ass, you can do this type of shit. They don't want you to know that. And they show you this shit in cartoons, and that's why they show you they not they they, they wasn't gonna make his ass.